All right, what's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So let's quickly talk about this recent data download on Global and all the exciting things that we learned from it. Now, of course, the first thing here is something that everybody saw coming and uh, it's related to the assets, of course, for the Extreme Z battle and Extreme Z awakening for AGL Rose. So we got the medals here. We also got uh, you know, the logo down here, as well as Rosé himself, so no surprises, everybody saw this coming. But the other thing that really threw me for a loop that I did not see coming are these five-year anniversary tickets. I mean, I knew they were coming eventually, just not this early, not this soon. So we got this fifth anniversary ticket, as well as this 55 uh, unit multi-ticket. Basically, it's for this like huge you know, 55 unit mega multi with a guaranteed LR at the end. Uh, but this one is still currently untranslated while the other one is translated. And apparently from what I've heard and what I've seen, we'll be able to actually acquire some of these tickets starting on June 1st, which is in literally two days from now, I guess three days. So in literally three days from now, there will be missions on global where we can get some of these tickets and it's just kind of weird to me because we are still at least a month away from even the countdown to the five-year anniversary so we won't be able to use these tickets for a long time but for some reason they're giving them to us now i mean i guess we'll get more later on but we'll be able to at least get a few right now so the point of it, I don't really know, maybe it's Bandai's way of stirring up some hype among the global community for the 5 year anniversary just to like put that in people's minds. That could be it, I don't really know, but I guess it doesn't really make that much of a difference either way because we will be able to use them eventually. It just seems a little bit premature. But anyways, starting on June 1st, we will be able to get a few of these tickets through missions. And uh, I'm assuming that since this one's untranslated, we won't be able to get them until either closer to the anniversary or once the anniversary starts. Oh, by the way, uh, this ticket is not for the Dual Token Fest between the Gogeta and Vegito. It's for a separate five-year anniversary banner with uh, some random featured units, but also unfeatured non Token Fest LRs. And we should have all of the non Dokkan Fest LRs available on this banner. So there's definitely gonna be people out there who pull some LRs with these tickets, all right? So uh, that's the second thing. And the third thing is related to the next Dokkan Fest and next celebration on Global. And it's gonna be for the Fizz Beerus. And I know some people are gonna be a little bit disappointed by that because I know not everyone is like super hyped for Fizz Beerus, but I will say he is a very good unit. His banner is also super, super solid. So we'll take a look at that in a second. And um, I mean, it's not really a surprise either. It's the banner that made the most sense. So I guess we're going to get Beerus for most of June, maybe a little filler in between before the five year anniversary. And then we're jumping right into the five year anniversary in the beginning of July. So yeah, five year, very, very close guys. All right, all you people have, who have been saving for many months or even up to a year for the five year, it's almost time, it's almost time. All right, so before we get there, let's take a look at Fizz Beerus himself for anybody that doesn't know what he does um, or if you guys you know just haven't been following what's going on on JP. This guy, like I said, is very good. His leader skill is Explosion of Anger or Realm of Gods, category key plus 3, HP plus 130%, and attack and defense plus 170%. Now, obviously, Explosion of Anger is a brand new category. And, uh, you know, it's it's pretty decent. It's pretty decent. We got AGL Gohan, we got Int Gohan, Tech Broly, Int Rose, who, of course, is not available on Global until part 2 of the 5 year. Then we have STR Broly. Uh, AGL Broly, um, AGL Bardock, basically it's just comprised of units that, you know, got really angry. So there you go, you can take a quick look. Not the biggest category, unfortunately, but uh, luckily his secondary leader skill or his other leader skill is for Realm of Gods. So that's definitely, you know, much better, right? 
and his super attack raises attack and it does stack infinitely every single time it's used for up to 99 turns so I guess it's not infinite but like basically infinite for Dokkan and it causes immense damage and greatly lowers defense which is a 50% debuff for 3 turns and his passive is defense plus 100% attack plus 150% when performing a super attack plus an additional Attack and defense plus 70% within the same turn after receiving an attack and randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to rainbow key spheres and attacks effective against all types when there is a realm of gods category enemy. And then his active skill is retaliation gives him attack and defense plus 50% attacks effective against all types and attacks guaranteed to hit for one turn and can be activated when HP is 70% or less starting from the 4th turn from the start of battle once only. So yeah, this dude hits really really hard, he infinitely raises attack, he gets up to 100, or sorry, 220% attack after receiving a hit, and also up to 170% defense, so he's a pretty decent tank too, and uh, overall, actually, actually, his defense is actually calculated separately, so it's not actually 170%, but rather 240% defense after taking a hit. And his active skill is also calculated separately. And uh, once you use the active skill, his total attack boost is actually 380% and defense plus 410% when all conditions are met, in addition to having attacks effective against all types. So, like I said, guys, like I said, uh, he's really good. <laughs> Hits super hard, uh, tanks very well, and uh, of course, attacks effective against all types is amazing. Um, the only complaint I really have, honestly, is his link set, but this is usually an issue when it comes to Beerus's godly power, prodigies, connoisseur, innocence, and the shocking speed, berserker. And fierce battle yeah not the greatest link set but he is a beerus so it's not that surprising its categories are realm of gods movie bosses siblings bond worthy rivals bond of master and disciple and explosion of anger all right so there you go there is the beerus and let's move on actually to the str weiss now who is coming along with him on the banner as the new you know, non dokkan best unit. And this Whis is actually incredible, guys. All right, he's he's ridiculously good. Leader skill is Bond of Master and Disciple, category key plus three. HP attack and defense plus 30, sorry, 120%. His super attack causes supreme damage and lowers attack and defense and also seals super attack. And his passive is attack and defense plus 100%. Great chance of evading enemies attack, including super attack, and an additional defense plus 50% with each attack received within the same turn and also all allies attack plus 50% and recovers 10% HP at the end of the turn when there is an ally whose name includes Beerus, Beerus excluded, which is kind of weird because Beerus, I mean I know it's part Beerus but like it, it's literally not Beerus so I don't think they really had to include this part but anyways, uh, includes Beerus attacking in the same turn and I'm pretty sure that uh yeah I'm, i was gonna say i'm pretty sure this defense like boost this defense additional defense can be stacked infinitely within the same turn at least right so as long as he continues to evade attacks his defense will keep increasing so at a certain point if you're dodging like three four attacks he's basically going to be untouchable and it also says here that his additional 50 percent defense per attack evaded is calculated separately, resulting in a boost of defense plus a hundred percent with each attack evaded. Hundred percent with each attack evaded. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Okay. Um. Anyways, he's a fun unit. He's a very good unit. He gives attack plus fifty percent and recovers ten percent HP when there is a Beerus. Um, attacking in the same turn so yeah uh, great great unit definitely want to pull a couple copies of him on the banner as well if I can and let's move on to the Beerus banner that JP got and most likely is going to be the global banner too I mean these days uh, there's not many changes between global and JP's banners so I do expect to see this exact banner when it comes to global and uh, like I said man really 
really good banner. We got Whis himself, we got Beerus himself, and then we got the return, the first return on global of the STR cooler. We got uh, STR Namek Goku. We got uh, Fizz transforming Vegeta, SSBKK Vegeta, or sorry, Goku, and also Tech Beerus. So, you know, these last three, not the most hype. I mean, transforming Vegeta is still phenomenal, but these two, uh, if you guys don't have them, great pulls, but most people do have them. So yeah, not, uh, not a great addition here for a lot of older players, but these four, fantastic. And of course, only seven featured SSRs, which is good. Um, great banner, man. As far as Dokkan Fest banners go, really good banner. Obviously still not as good as, not even close actually, to the Vegito Blue and Blue Gogeta banners. But when, you, when it comes to just regular Dokkan Fest banners, these, this one is definitely uh, quality. It's definitely quality. So there's the banner, and that's pretty much the video, guys. I just wanted to show you guys what the Beerus does. Oh, actually, no. My bad. I got one more. So uh, we, we saw what the Beerus does. We saw what the Whis does. We saw the um, Beerus banner, but uh, this is actually the uh, fifth anniversary banner. Um, for which the ticket you saw in the beginning of this video, it's going to be used on, right? The fifth anniversary, the translated ticket is going to be for this banner. And uh, it's just like your standard anniversary banner. So a ton of random featured SSRs here, like non dokkan Fest SSRs. As I said, all of the non dokkan Fest LRs in the game should also be in the unfeatured pool. So while your chances to pull them are pretty low, it is possible, and there are definitely going to be people out there who pull multiple LRs on this banner with these tickets. And uh, another question that's on a lot of people's minds is, will the LR Ultra Instinct Goku be on this banner? And the answer is most likely, most likely, because last year for the fourth anniversary, um, the LR Broly, the Tech Broly, who was uh, the part two, like Goku Day Part 2 LR was available on the 4th anniversary banner. So chances are uh, chances are that UI Goku will be on this banner. I mean, you never know with Bandai, they could always pull a fast one on us, but most likely Fizz Beerus will be on this banner. And uh, yeah, good luck to everybody. Um, you know, in their summons. Obviously, more likely than not, you're not gonna pull an LR, but someone's gonna pull an LR and it could be you right so good luck good luck all right so there's the banner and that's pretty much everything from the data download covered right we got the easy a for rose we got uh the info for Beerus upcoming and also the tickets so uh, if there's anything out there that I missed I don't think I did but if you guys know anything else from the data download that I didn't cover in this video make sure to let me know in the comments down below so that everybody else can see it as well but uh, that's it guys, that is today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, hope you guys are at least moderately excited, you know, mildly excited for the Beerus, but if you guys wanna skip it, I don't blame anybody with the anniversary right you know, after this. And uh, that's it guys, that is all I gotta say. Once again, a big shout out to Dokkan Air or Air Dokkan on Twitter for posting the assets. And uh, that's it guys. That is the video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.